What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations. Last time, we ran into Officer Meeks underneath the Blue Badger costume, and we established that there are two Blue Badgers on the premises, which means one of them is the kidnapper. Now, I'm not sure what I need to do, so I'm kind of presenting all this random junk to him, hoping he says something. Yep, and that, that means he doesn't know what I'm talking about. It's so incredibly shiny, but it has really ugly shape. I knew it. I was right to go for the much more manly police badge, sir. But I lose it a lot. Ah, uh, that's a typo. A lot is two words, technically. You can't- a lot is not one word. And I just know I'm going to lose it for the real one of these days, sir. Mr. Edgeworth, I think this cop is one donut short of a baker's dozen. I know. Believe me, I know. And what is a baker's dozen? Isn't it 14? I never understood why that was the case. Believe me, I know. Or is it Baker's Dozen 13? I don't remember. So I presented everything to him. It was... Kind of pointless. Oh! We still have a mono! Yeah! I forgot about him. But apparently I've already... Talked to him about everything. Well, shoot! Okay. Gotta help me out here, come on! If you could just let me through here. Sorry, I can't let anyone through. Agent Lang's orders. I suppose I'll have to deal with this impasse for now. Help me out here. There's a bunch of footprints in the mud over here. I remember hearing rainfall out here while I was being held in there. Yep, it was just a passing rain. That's why the ground has already pretty much dried up. I should be thankful. It left us with some nice footprint samples. You know what? I bet if we followed them, we can find out where the kidnappers went. Plus, we'd be able to spot them because of their muddy shoes. I don't think it will be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. And we don't know which ones belong to the kidnapper. Zzz. Oh, that's true. We don't know what kind of shoes they were wearing. So I guess I could try following them. Is that gonna help us at all? If these were real, I wonder what you'd put in them. Water would be the obvious answer. But if you stored water in a barrel under the blazing hot sun, wouldn't it go bad? People of that period probably didn't care about how it tasted. Sorry, but I can't let you get away with making fun of our forefathers. I mean, maybe they really like the strange taste. Look who's making fun of him now. Ah, uh, what am I gonna do? There's not many options left. Can I make another deduction? Oh. No, this doesn't seem right. But right now it's all I've got to go on. I'm gonna hope it, it is correct. And for some reason it is. Now what we know that the cat... Now that we know that the kidnappers were wearing blue badger costumes, those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh, you mean now we know which tracks belong to the kidnappers, right? Yes! More than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of badgers. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunting. How do I do that? How do I do that? So we're looking for footprints made by a costume. Hey, I think I found them! There are two sets here. They both do look like possible candidates. This set is walking off to the west. It just stops! I can't make heads or tails of where it's headed from here. I think we can assume it's headed towards the stadium. I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. Huh? Quick, Mr. Edgeworth! I've got him! I got the one of the culprits! Oh no! I'm not a kidnapper! Yeah, yeah, save it for the precinct, pal. 
Clearly, those footprints belong to Officer Meekins. But our criminals were each wearing a costume. Aha! Maybe they came over to this garage for something? That's what I would suppose. Officer Meekins, if you could step aside for a moment. We need to examine the garage. Roger Wilco! Okay. Let's open the shutter and see what we find. Maybe we'll find the kidnappers hiding inside. Oh, damn. He did. What in the? We seem to have stumbled across a dead body. That is the most casual. Hmm, yes, a dead body. She must be in severe shock to have been the first to find it. Now then, who is this man? It's Oliver, the butler. Mr. Amano, are you saying that this man is? Yes, he's my butler. How could something like this have happened? Indeed. And why was Mr. Deacon here to begin with? I'd better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Lang or his men return. The kidnapper's footprints lead right to this garage and right to a dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? Hmm. From my cursory examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound. You sure are calm for someone who just found a dead, uh, found a body. It's surprising what one can become accustomed to in the span of two days. I won't rest until I've inspected, yes, 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 yes. Says that every time. As long as that Interpol agent has control of this case, I'm not gonna be able to have a real autopsy done on the victim. I'm no doctor, but let's see what I can piece together myself. There are two gunshot wounds, one in his abdomen and one in his shoulder. So that means he was shot twice? No, I don't think so. I think the abdominal, abdominal one is an entry wound and the one near his shoulder is the exit wound. Nice! I knew you can figure it out. It comes with experience, and I've seen my share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience, this crime scene seems a bit too clean for a murder where the bullet went clean through. I should make a note of this oddity. Hmm. Okay. Oops. No, 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 no. What else is there? Oh no, I've already done this. Is it logic? Nope, that's not it. Not giving me a lot of options here, are you? I think that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. What am I gonna do? Mr. Amano, this body. Yes, that's my butler, Oliver. How could something like this have happened? And why was Mr. Deacon here to begin with? What the heck? Nope. I can't speak with my partner? Okay. I've already looked at everything according to them. Look, I'm, I'm going down and there's the bullet wound. This is an unusually shaped pendant. Is it something valuable? Looks like a Mustang. She seems to have regained some of her composure. It looks like a horse pendant. It's got an antique feel about it and it's really pretty. Hold on, this is made of platinum silver. Nice. It is worth something after all. Oh, and look! There's something written on the back. Colin Deveray. It's a name. Colin Deveray. But this man's name is... Apparently I can make a deduction. Is it? No? Logic? 
No. I can't make any connection yet. Hold on, something's not right. I need to really make sure that there's never a mention of any horse ever. And there isn't. Deacon shot, abdomen through shoulder. There's nothing here. Loss of blood. Nope, I don't know. I don't know. Damn it. <sighs> I mean, sure, we're in a, in, in a stable, but still, I have no idea what they want from me. Okay, so that's really stupid. So, y the whole deduction was, yeah, that's not your name. So it was just so obvious that I didn't think of it because, ugh, okay. The victim is the Amano family butler and his name is Oliver Deacon. But the name on the pendant is Colin Deveray. I wonder what's up with that. I don't know, but I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. That he likes wearing other men's jewelry? Lance, Lance, where are you, sweetie? Excuse me, but you are... I don't trust her. I don't trust her at all. But, um... Oh, this is bad. He's really good looking. Stop it, Lauren. You can't let yourself fall for a playboy like him. You're in love with... Sounds like someone doesn't know the meaning of the phrase inner monologue, huh? Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yes, I'm Lance's girlfriend. My name is Lauren Pops. His girlfriend? Oh, it's not like that. More like friends, and uh, we're not lovers or anything. We, well, we haven't gotten that far yet. But I guess that's how people are going to see it, so I should just ac accept it. I even got this ring as a present from Lance. Man, you never see those ring pops anymore. You know what she reminds me of? A cartoon character. <laughs> May I inquire as to why you are here? I haven't been able to get in contact with Lance lately. And I began to get real worried. I looked everywhere for him and then I heard about the kidnapping so I came here. You're really strong for having made it through all this by yourself. Is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Oh, Lance! I can't believe you've been running away! I wonder how you're doing right now! Looks like she's gone back to the fair maiden in love routine. So, Mr. Edgeworth, where do we go from here? Well, we found a body, so we should look into the murder. My men brought me up to speed over the radio. And I have to say, you really should have called. I heard you found something very intriguing. I have nothing to hide, Agent Lang. It's exactly what you see before you. I'll take it from here. Yeah, that guy's really dead. Hey, you waiting for an invitation? Hurry up and detain the suspect now. Officer Meekins, is it? You're coming with us. What? I had nothing to do with it, sir. Agent Lang, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good reason to <laughs> Officer Meekins? Ha! I leave that kind of stuff to you, prosecutors. It's your job, after all. Like I said earlier, the crime scene isn't as forgiving as your precious courtroom. That's your answer? I know you like your logic and reasoning, but that sort of impractical fluff is not needed out here in the field. What are you, an idiot? All you have to do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. That's how you eliminate crime from the streets. 
But that's also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people and mistake. Innocent people? Nonsense! There's no such thing as an innocent person. We've all got a blemish or two in our hearts. That's tyranny! I won't allow such a thing to go on unchecked before my eyes. Heh. <laughs> Too bad you don't call the shots round here. As I have sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. That you would arrest a man on false charges without even conducting an investigation. Without even conducting an ace attorney investigation. Have you no honor as a member of law enforcement? You! How dare you speak so disrespectfully to our Shifu! Hold it! Hold! Ah, ah, ah. You amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor. Like she says, every pack has its own rules. If you can play by their rules and come out on top, that is a true victory. All right, I'll give your beloved laws a fair shake. I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. Through my line of logic. I didn't realize he was finishing a sentence. Dear Lord. She Long Lang's logic. That's a lot of... Else. I've seen a lot of bodies like the one being carted off in my time. I can say he was shot in a single glance, but even you figured out that much, right? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Not unless you're a member of law enforcement, like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? That is your reasoning? Solid as a rock. It's based on the philosophy of detainment. What's this philosophy of detainment? Ha! You don't know? In that case, pay attention, girly. Girly? I think you better say, like, toots or something. In my country, the criminals have a saying, beware of the wolf. Why the wolf? Because in my language, lang means wolf and you don't mess with me or my pack. And as for the detainment philosophy, its father is my honorable ancestor, Lang Shi. Hmm. You'd think I'd have heard of him and his teachings if he is that famous. <gasps> Can he read my mind? Lang Shi developed it as he oh but as he worked to lock criminals away thousands of years ago. To this day, the Shangfa police still trains its recruits using his philosophies. But thousands of years ago, that makes your story about as believable as a fairy tale. Anything wears down and breaks over time. Do you really believe something as ancient as that can be applied to today's world? You ought to put it to the test? I don't know why I said it like that. You ought to put it to the test? Rebuttal. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.